The key difference between the world of UFC and street fights lies in the ground rules that everyone must follow. These rules are like the glue that holds the sport together, preventing it from becoming a total free-for-all. Despite these clear guidelines in place to keep things fair, some fighters choose to break them, leading to disqualifications. Join us as we take a closer look at 10 shocking moments when UFC fighters got disqualified. Brace yourself for some jaw-dropping moves that will leave you speechless. In the octagon, fighters must follow the referee's instructions, regardless of their emotions. Disobeying can lead to severe consequences, as we witnessed in the Walt Harris vs. Mark Godbeer bout during UFC 217. 10. Walt Harris vs. Mark Godbeer, UFC 217. In the first round of the match, Harris accidentally hit his opponent in the groin with a knee strike, prompting the referee to intervene and stop the fight temporarily. Unfortunately, Harris didn't seem to notice the referee and delivered a powerful head kick that left his opponent unable to continue the match. As a result, Godbeer was declared the winner by disqualification. Some fighters have often been accused of taking advantage of their opponent's moves to claim a DQ. And one of such fighters is Diego Sanchez at the UFC Fight Night 167. 9. Michelle Pereira vs. Diego Sanchez UFC Fight Night 167 When the bout started, Pereira quickly dominated Sanchez, and it seemed like the fight would end in Pereira's favor. However, things took an unexpected turn. When Pereira landed a knee on Sanchez's head while he was on the mat, Sanchez realized he could secure a victory via disqualification, so he chose not to continue the fight and was awarded the win. One of the forbidden moves in the UFC are knee strikes to the head of a grounded opponent. However, Hardy seemed to be unaware of this rule at the UFC Fight Night 143. 8. Greg Hardy vs. Alan Crowder, UFC Fight Night 143 Hardy was well known for his punching prowess, and he was coming in with an unbeaten record into his debut fight against Crowder. In the second round, Crowder ended up on the canvas with his knees down, which meant he was considered a grounded opponent. Surprisingly, Hardy still went ahead to deliver a devastating knee strike to his opponent's head. The impact was so severe that Crowder couldn't continue the fight, and he was declared the winner by disqualification. 7. John Jones vs. Matt Hamill – The Ultimate Fighter 10 Finale John Jones showed clear dominance over his opponent, Matt Hamill. Yet, an unfortunate action led to the sole mark on his otherwise impeccable record. During the initial four minutes of the first round, Jones executed an illegal 12-6 elbow strike while in the full mount position against Hamill. The referee was forced to put the fight on hold, and a point was subsequently deducted from Jones. The bout later had to be stopped when Hamill couldn't continue fighting. 6. Peter Yan vs. Aljamain Sterling, UFC 259 UFC 259 is a night that will forever be remembered in the world of MMA. This event marked a historic moment in UFC history, where a title changed hands due to an unusual disqualification. The bout began with an intense and competitive first round. As the fight progressed, Pechter Jan seemed well on his way to a definite victory. However, fate took a surprising turn, with just 31 seconds remaining in the fourth round. While Sterling was on his knees, Jan delivered an illegal knee strike, rendering his opponent unable to continue the fight. This single illegal blow cost Jan the win and his bantamweight title. 5. Eric Silva vs. Carlo Prater, UFC 142 Among the fights that took place at UFC 142, the battle between Eric Silva and Carlo Prater stands out as the only one marked by controversy. The fight was initially stopped after Eric Silva landed a knee to the body of Carlo Prater, followed by a series of follow-up shots. However, the victory was short-lived for Silva as it became apparent that a shot or two may have inadvertently struck the back of Prater's head. In the aftermath of the fight, there was widespread debate and scrutiny. Despite the controversy and calls for reconsideration, the disqualification verdict still stands. 4. Dean Barry vs. Mike Jackson, UFC Vegas 52 
Mike Jackson went home with his first UFC win after suffering from severe eye gouges by Dean Barry. It all occurred in round one, after Barry had delivered a knockdown. While Jackson was trying to get back to his feet, Barry pushed off Jackson's face. Upon reviewing the replays, it was clear that Barry's finger had inadvertently dug into Jackson's eye in a disturbing manner. In obvious pain, Jackson instinctively reached for his injured eye, prompting referee Chris Tognoni to halt the action. 3. Matt Riddle vs. Greg Soto, UFC 111 Matt Riddle vs. Greg Soto was an intriguing matchup with lots of action. However, the bout was shortened due to an illegal move by Soto. As the fight progressed, Soto delivered a devastating upkick that caught Riddle while he was on his knees, rendering him unconscious. Medical professionals rushed to Riddle's aid, and he had no recollection of what had transpired. This led to the decision to disqualify Soto. 2. C.B. Dalloway vs. Hector Lombard UFC 222 C.B. Dalloway's victory over Hector Lombard via disqualification remains one of the most talked about moments in MMA history. The first round of their preliminary bout had proceeded without any major incidents. However, when the bell rang to signal the end of the round, Lombard unleashed a series of punches at Dalloway. Caught off guard, Dalloway was visibly shaken by the unexpected attack. There was no justification for Lombard to continue throwing punches after the bell had sounded. This ultimately led to his disqualification loss, a decision that many believed was warranted. 1. Wes Sims vs. Frank Mir, UFC 43 the fight started with Wes Sims charging towards Frank Mir with great enthusiasm, but Mir wasted no time in taking him down. As the fight progresses, Mir manages to transition to the mount position, delivering a series of devastating strikes to Sims' face. Mir unleashes a barrage of punches and elbows from the top position, looking to finish the fight in a ruthless manner. In a dramatic twist, Mir attempts to lock in an armbar, but Sims defends vigorously and executes a slam that sends Mir crashing on his head. Unfortunately, this is where things take an ugly turn. Sims grabs the cage and repeatedly stomps on Frank Mir's head. The referee intervenes, calling the fight in Mir's favor due to disqualification. In which of these fights do you feel the referee made the wrong call? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. If you enjoyed watching this video, you would want to check out our next two videos.